Hi guys, this is Stephanie. Welcome to Stephanie's Journey. For those of you here for the very first time, welcome. And for those of you returning, welcome back. Today I'm about to do a garden tour of this garden. Um, it's November 5th. So you'll see this tomorrow, hopefully. So anywho, uh, maybe, maybe not. Mm, Sunday, you'll see this Sunday. Because I have another video coming up before this. So anywho, let's get on with the garden tour. Let's turn you guys around. All right, let's start right here where we always start. We have some deal growing. Um, my fig tree, everything fell off, but as you can see, it's thick in spring again. It got cold. Now it's back in the 70s and 80s, so it's putting on new stuff. And it's hot out here now. See, the sun just popped out. Um, we have mint. My mint came back. Here we have three, four um blueberry plants that's in buckets they all oh, have pretty much shed their leaves except for this one this is the one i very first one i got my first year um this is cabbages those freaking cabbage green caterpillars have tried to destroy my cabbage but they are actually trying to fold in these two um we have my sweet potatoes here this is the one that's been in here probably 140, maybe 150 days because the other one that I harvested, check the video up here, didn't have much in it. So I went ahead and left these because they're in this plastic bucket. So I said I'd leave them longer. I harvested them because we had a frost, but it was just a mild frost. I should have probably left them, but I didn't. Anywho, more cabbage. These are actually forming heads. They're closing in, but they have had caterpillars down in there. The day I came out and sprayed them really good with water. We're supposed to get rain for the next four or five days. Don't know how much, but some. So try to rinse any eggs that was on here off because I do not spray my garden with nothing. These are ground cherries that's going to be everywhere come next year. I'm trying to pull them as I see them. This is my fig tree. It has done the same thing, lost all its leaves. But as you can see on the tips, it thinks it's spring again, even down there. Here I have, I planted squash and I'm going to get some because it's warm. Um, you can see I have females on here down there it's female i think it's a couple of them on there that's a brussels sprout and let me go back this way i'm being lazy i don't want to walk all the way around got some leaf miners on there but anywho this is um broccoli that is devastated by those cabbage worms so it's this one and then under here same thing it's a Brussels sprout that they tore it up. Tore it up. Got weeds I need to pull from out of there. These are more cabbages. These are the red cabbages. They don't get these as bad. So next year I might just grow red. Um, Cause yeah. I don't have time for that. And this is another Brussels sprout. I'm going to move this Brussels sprout as well as that Brussels sprout into buckets once I do my sweet potatoes I'll put them somewhere but anywho that's it for this this is a tree of onions I've been trying to grow onions here I stopped trying to grow them in those things and just dump them in the ground but we do have them that popped up some walla wallas so yeah I don't know how that got in there but yeah so I get them out let them live their best life. So, anywho. Is anybody else trying to grow onions this time of year? A lot of times, people don't grow them this time of year. Uh, but in Georgia, we can grow them year-round. So, that's what I'm going to do. thought I saw something. So, anyway, let me know. Comment below. Let me know if you grow onions. Okay, let's go back to the tour. All right, this is my kohlrabi that I have growing in this container. 
which they are super duper small compared to the ones in the bed which you'll see in a minute um, I thought I fertilized this bed but maybe I did not have a volunteer green bean in here I'm gonna let it stay it gives nitrogen another red cabbage then I dropped a bunch of carrot seeds so we got carrots and I watered it earlier so they're falling over from that I need to pick them up so they don't die. I don't know if they'll die, but I just need to pick them back up so they can dry out and grow. And they're close together. I'm not going to weed them. I'm not. Because every time I touch them to weed them and I thin them, they die. So I'm going to leave them alone. This is another cabbage. Two cabbages. Again, the green caterpillar. As always, I stuck a few onions in here with them to grow. Um, that's a red onion. That's a yellow. I don't know. Maybe that's a white. Maybe I got one of each. I don't know. I just stuck them there. They're from last year. They just popped up out the ground. Could be a shallot. Don't know. Don't know what it is. But it's an onion family. So I have that. Need to cut them back so they don't fall over and strengthen up their shaft. Um, here in the back, these are all collard greens from when I planted last year in February um, that I left in these pots. And I decided I was going to plant them and see what they do. And this is what they did. So they are like 10 months old but they never were put in the ground so it was this one but the caterpillar got it too this is a dino kale which is what those are but i didn't plant them so they finally died because they didn't have no water um because i haven't been watering my garden since it's been warm caterpillar has destroyed this plant this thing is almost demolished, but oh, it must be one still on here. Why? Because I rinsed all them things off and there was some more. I don't have my gloves on, so if I see one, I'm going to have to leave it. Cause I'm not putting my hands on them things, but anywho, yeah, it will grow back because we have foliage in the middle. And that's all it needs for the synthesize. All it really needs is roots and it'll come back, so... We have that. I am actually going to harvest some of these leaves this weekend, um, probably, um, and give them time, a little room to breathe, and so they can bounce back from this caterpillar damage. And I may get something to cover these up for a little while because it doesn't look like we're going to get cold. Also, under here is some bok choy. I have one row of bok choy and ground cherry of course because these were the ones that were sitting in that thing and all the ground cherry seeds fell in it so this bed is probably going to be full of ground cherries up this side row here these are my strawberry radishes i did finally get some last year oh look like i'm getting some this year maybe can y'all see that yep maybe so and then here we got carrots i had one row I planted two, only one row sprouted, and then one on this row. So I planted more, and these are looking much better. We got a lot that came a lot in this one spot, but the rest of them are pretty much growing out. So we're gonna have some more carrots there. I still have these beans in this bed, primarily to give it nitrogen, um, but. You still have pods on here. I need to pull them off, all the pods, and cut them off at the roots and let the roots stay. We have one potato that's in here. That's a volunteer. Doesn't look good, but it's in there. We got a bunch of weeds. These are all Brussels sprouts. I need to come out and cut the bottom limbs off and just leave the crown so that it can do what it got to do. This is my lovely, lovely celery. This is for the holiday. I'm saving it for Thanksgiving. Look at the base of that thing. Look at it. Oh my God, it's huge. I had never looked down there. 
But anyway, this carry this celery is for my Thanksgiving dressing. And then we got a little sprig of rosemary back here. That is from that plant over there. I broke a piece off. You can break a piece off like this. Put it in some water or stick it directly in your soil if you keep your soil wet enough and it'll root. So again, we got more pak choy. I don't know if it's bok choy or pak choy. I don't know which one I planted. And they the same thing. And then these kohlrabis. See how much bigger these are? That one ain't that big, but this one right here, it's loving its life in this bed. So it's that one. This one is getting shaded, so it's small. So maybe that's what's wrong with those over there. Maybe they're not getting enough sun. But anywho, that's what we got. And let's see if we got anything going on these yet as far as Brussels sprouts. Nope. Brussels sprouts grow at the base of the plant down there. I see a little teeny little something coming. So... But it's putting all this energy in these leaves. So you need to cut them back and just leave the crown. And then they'll grow up the stem. So that's what I'm going to do. I might bring you guys along. May not. But we'll see. All right. It's a beautiful day. Look at the sky. We're going to go up to the top half of the garden. And check it out. So. All right. These are my carrots. These are the black nubias. You can see, because the stems are dark. This one may be ready to pull out. I don't know, but I'm going to pull them as needed. I'm not going to just pull them to pull them, because I ain't got nowhere to store them. But we also have some smaller ones in there. And I think I just broke off. Oh no, I broke off a limb from off of that one. But we also have smaller carrots i don't know what kind they are i just keep dumping seeds because i couldn't get my carrots to grow but now i got some so that's all i care about because soups and stews for december and january outside of holiday food so yep the leaves look amazing 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 and these Humongous, humongous leaves are from last year, well earlier this year. I planted them in probably February and ate off them all summer. The bugs started eating them up. I let them. I cut off all the leaves that they have eaten just about and let them grow back. And they just cut off some more off the bottom. Um, of course, it still has caterpillar damage. But I came out here and look, see, there's one right there. See him? I knew because when you see fresh poop, because I wiped all of it off. I go in there too. Mm hmm. Yep. So I need to get them two off. Um, part of a bunch of them. But. They've eaten up the inside of this one. Just tore it up. So I need to get the decent leaves off. Get them cleaned up. And put in the freezer. Um, hopefully they're not bitter. This one got powdered in mildew. So I need to get that off. This plant don't look too good at all. But once you take the bad leaves off. It'll just start back. Also need to get that from out of there. Or I'm going to have 8,000 basil plants in here. Don't want that. Um, I'm letting my stevia go to seed so that I can get seeds from it. I think it's a perennial, so it'll come back next year, but I'm not 100% certain about that. Um, comment below and let me know if y'all know if it will come back. I tasted them. Somebody said they go bitter if they flower, but I tasted the flower, and it's not bitter. Mm. Nope, it's not bitter. It's very sweet. Still got tomatoes growing. This right here is the tomato plant that will never die. I planted this my very first year of gardening in 2020. It has come back every year on its own. 
at a thousand places in the garden places i ain't even grow it but it's here uh every year i be planting volunteers don't know what it is and it's always one of them so you know who it is what it is another stevia plant with more flowers so i am going to have a lot of seeds i hope so i have extra if anybody wants some hit me up let me know in the comments and i'll try to send you out some if you send me a self-addressed envelope my p.o box is on my thing um and i'll get you some but let me say yes first before you send it because I don't know how long these things take to dry out so but I'll be happy to send you some some of them look dry so I need to check them let me pull one off of here and take it in the house my lunch is over my alarm went off I'm still out here doing this thing but anyway this is uh, Callaloo didn't never eat it just let it grow and I want to see so that's gonna be everywhere Got tomatoes still tomatoing because the temperature is amazing. Um, still been pulling them off. The bugs have died down, so I'm still getting like good tomatoes off now. But we're getting ready to get like six days of rain, so they are going to split. So I need to harvest them today. What's out here so that they won't get all them splits in it? Because when they get too much rain and consistent rain, they split. We have some that's not any good i'm just letting them drop because we love a volunteer tomato they do much better than the regular ones and yeah no need to save seeds although i have we got one lonesome carrot in here and the tomato i had let drop it's a hillbilly those are very good if you haven't grown them have more stevia in here as well oh no that's not stevia that's basil but i do have a stevia plant here so yeah that's that this one I still got a cherry tomato that one just split probably from where I watered it to death this morning I'm gonna eat it oh no I'm not I spit it out it was too soft might have a bug in it so yeah let's get this one Yeah, that's a good one. And you ate lunch. This is a cabbage. I left the stem in the ground last year. Um, and it was just a little piece of stem. And then it just started growing back. And it has three heads on here. Come on, they'll probably be small, but got one there, one there, one there. Might have one back here too. Maybe. And I might try to fold in too. But yeah, just from the stem. So I don't know if it's going to create four heads of cabbage from that stem that I didn't pre-plant. Also, we got tomatoes growing everywhere over there. We got a bunch of them over here. <laughs> this weather, it don't know what to do. It's hot, cold, hot, cold. I refuse to turn my heat on. Still got banana peppers growing. Still got these tomatoes growing. Um, I don't can't remember what these are, but these are good too. I think these are the Cherokee purples. Very good tomatoes. They don't have good shelf life though. Still got flowers coming from my from my tomato plants as well as my pepper plants everywhere. And of course, I self pollinate and shake the tomatoes so they can pollinate and get more. That's they green I'm gonna get them this tomato plant this pepper plant rather is this one the shishito that thing this is the best growing pepper ever you see all the flowers that's still on there everywhere I mean freaking everywhere and I just keep pollinating them and I keep having peppers everywhere it's self pollinate and this one too this one was not as specific as this one but this one was as well this is a black hungarian pepper still everywhere plant still looks a little good got these white spots on it i don't know what that is might have came from the frost we had for one day 
I got to 38 and to 35, two days in a row. One day 38, next day 35. So, anywho. Still got an eggplant. I think I'm going to take that eggplant in the house for next year. Don't know what kind it is. Um, have a leak back there. That's that tomato. This is the giant Maconi. I think I still have one or two on there. Yeah, one big one back there in the back. A little one coming. One coming there, too. So, peppers are still growing. Still got flowers putting on as well. I'm leaving them. This is my jalapeno. Got jalapenos on this thing everywhere. Some are big. I need to actually harvest it. But I have harvested so many, and I got to dehydrate some and make some pepper, pepper sauce powder. I mean, this one is my bell pepper. It only has one on here, and I need to get it as well. Thank God the bugs are gone because they would have already gotten it. Even still got marigolds. This <laughs> is a cucumber plant. I think it's dying. But I don't know. Got a cucumber on it. So we'll see. Back there. I think that is um, probably some leeks. That's what was back there. Some leek seeds. So maybe they fail because I didn't plant those. Another volunteer tomato. In this bed, I planted these out. These are my shallots in this row from last year. I don't know if I planted them too deep. If I did, somebody let me know if they're planted too deep or not deep enough. And then these are my onions from last year. The bugs that I pulled up um, that got shaded out from my, um, what bed were they in? I think they were in the bed with my squash, so they got shaded out. These are my new red onions. Um, I pulled these up today and put them over here. These are some more onions that I'm starting from seed as well. These were started from seed, and I did them just like I did this row. I just put a bunch of seeds down, let them pop up, and then I'm going to transfer them all throughout my garden. These are the same as these. I just did these a couple of weeks ago. Um, I need to come and cut the tops back. And let them take off. Um, all these are red. That's what I'm going to have this bed full of red onions. Even the shallots are red onions. And then these right here. This candy onion as well as this walla walla. They are yellow onions. I don't think those candy going to come up. But they might fool me. We'll see. Might get a few of them. Back here in the back. We got broccoli. Which again. Caterpillar. Here we have a serrano pepper that has been yellow for I don't know how long. I keep giving it nutrients. Oh lord, y'all see that baby lizard? Thing scared me. Anyway, um, the yellow has been going on for a month or two. I need to pull it up, but I haven't. Um, this is my Anaheim pepper. It is full of big old peppers as well that I need to harvest, but they're gonna go in my pepper powder it be zumba and this has peppers on it too these are my fish peppers that i grew for someone but i'm keeping these for myself and it got a lot of peppers on it so we have those they're going to go in my pepper sauce because i need some hot and mild and broccoli these <laughs> spinach i put put down um this is an nasturtium that I moved. Looked like it was going to die. Now it has popped back to life because I want the seeds. So these are the onions that I planted that I moved. I took a spot from right there and moved them over there. So we have that. Um, this row, they have a few that came up. I planted two rows of this red grano. They barely came over. I think the seeds were old. This is the red creole. They pretty much all came up. So we have those two rows of those to get moved around. I'm going to make this entire bed garlic. So we need to move those as they get a little bit bigger. But they need a haircut. Um, I just planted some garlic from last year. 
here in this bed from out the house that I had in the refrigerator. And these are garlic um, that I transplanted. I'll link the video there. I have a video where I did that. These were just throughout the garden. It just popped up from last year. Um, so we have those. These are some radish, not radish, just turnip, red top turnips, I think, that I just transplanted here. We still have some um, squash growing, and this is my Armenian cucumber that's still growing. We still have like three weeks of warm. I don't see anything until December as far as cold weather. So I'm going to leave it. This is, um, I don't know what kind of squash this is, but this one is my uh, kusha. Both of them have 50 days. I just planted seeds that said 50 days. So we got one coming. Matter of fact, we got, oh, where's the other one? There's another one on here somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, there she is right there. Hey. So I self pollinated that one. So we know I did it two days in a row. So we know that thing is pollinated, hand pollinated. Got a video on that. Hand pollinated this one too. This is the gray zucchini. These things are so good. So I got two of them as well. So we're going to get two of them. Got one here. And then we got that one there. So we just got to pollinate that one whenever it open. I come over here every morning and watch. But yeah, probably should pull that one up. But I'm going to leave it. Same here. This is the Cuba butter. They are delicious as well. Um, and we got plants. Oh, don't, don't, don't be bad. I just had two in there. I pulled up one this morning because this pot is so small. So I want to make sure this thing got energy. These things are still growing. Yep, still growing. Still growing. I pulled all of them out here yesterday. It might be a couple of them out here. This is the frog finger eggplant. Oh, nope, they're going to run as big too. Like two days. And that's what they look like in two days. So I've been fertilizing it. Oh, that breeze feels good. There was another one. If you have not tried these and you like eggplant, these are good. Quick cook, split them in half, cook them. Same. This plant. This one almost died on me, but it came back, and it's still putting on as well. Love it. This is the squash I pulled up this morning. I have no idea why I stuck it in there, but I did, and we're going to leave it. These are all leaned over because I watered them with forced water this morning. Um, Yeah, but these are my golden ball turnips i thought it was red top but they're golden ball any ones i have in here is the same the same one this i put a bunch of romaine lettuce in here so they're um popping up i guess could be basil could be ammo we don't know but we're gonna let it grow these are my two pots of ginger and it's growing and it's still growing and we got shoots still popping up i'm not gonna harvest it until the weather tell me to now i have come out here and pulled some up that's why we got empty spots right here when i was sick but outside of that we're gonna let it grow and do what it do these were from last year so they've been in here for a long time because i took the pot in the house in the winter and let them stay in the ground and then this is a new pot so we got two this is my oh i won't focus because it's so bright red mustard greens we do have some in here i haven't got to plant them but harvey the container gardener she reminded me when I, she showed me hers i was like shoot i forgot to plant them because i love red mustard greens and the bugs don't bother red plants as much so yeah so hopefully they come up good i'm gonna fan them and spread the love 
Same with these. This is the same. These are those turnips that I pulled from over there and I separated them and they're going in my green stock. I put a few in there, but it got dark. So I put them down there. It's rained a little bit so they can get some rain water. This pot is the same. I have yet to pull this fennel from out of here. Got fennel seeds everywhere. If you want some fennel seeds, let me know. I'm sure there's some on here that I can share with the world. That I know I have. Let's get some. Especially if you're in Georgia. Because they're grown in Georgia. So they'll be good in Georgia. But I will mail them. Just send me a self just dress envelope. Um, also, green beans, caterpillar ate this thing all the way down. But look at it. You think it's spring. It's blossom back. Got flowers. Look at that. November 5th, we still got flowers on our green beans. And you know what? I'm going to leave it. Turnip, still in here. Strawberry, still flowering. That's a big one right here. Strawberries. Strawberries. I need to pull them off and eat them. They ready. Because we got lizards and a frog out here eating them. Mm, that thing was good. I'm going to eat this one. I rinsed it all. Mm. Oh my God. Get one more. I'm going to cut my tail back to work. I don't have a meeting, but my lunch was over here. Two o'clock. It's two fifteen. Yeah, that's it for the grain stock. Nothing else is on here. I'm just putting turnips in here. I'm gonna put also some um, spinach in there too. And I need to get my other grain stock out, but I have not. So let's finish the two up. Got a few more things. All right, we got cabbage. This one isn't eating up as bad, and it's starting to fold in, make a head. This is my red cabbage. I had something else back here. I don't know what it was, and I don't know what that is either. Probably another type of cabbage, but one of them need to get out of here. I got two more pots. This ain't putting no dirt in them. So we got that one, that one. This one is a broccoli, I believe. Got ate up by that freaking cabbage worm. Same thing, broccoli, centronella, still going strong. It's going to die if I don't put no water on it because it looks dry as a dirt desert. No rain water. It rained two days ago. We got a teeny tiny dropping off of the roof. I leave it here because the roof, it drops and it fills it up fast. Um, last but not least, this little row, we got a yarrow, still growing. Um, the only plant that actually grew. So I've been moved it to the porch because I want to get the leaves and stuff from it. Um, my lemon balm has come back. I sprinkled some more seeds in here, but most of them was just weeds. I keep pulling the weeds out. So hopefully some of them will pop up. Hmm, tomato plant. A whole bunch of tomato plants. Don't know why they're there, but evidently I dropped some tomatoes. This is a bunch of tomato plants right there. Maybe I should take them out. Shit, one right here too. Birds probably put them over here. I did grow tomatoes right there. Mm, year before last. I don't think last year. Last year. may have been last year, but not this summer. But we got some. Should take them in the house. Let them grow. This is mint. Peppermint. Spearmint. I don't know. Cement. Got that. This is where the garlic was. I pulled up and moved to that other bed up there on the hill. This is my ground cherries where it has dropped, so that must mean we need to eat it. If y'all grow these, just one plant is all you need. Cause this mess is like roaches. They multiply. <laughs> but we got some yellow ones on there that's about to drop, so we can get those. So. 
guess this will grow for another month. This had my elephant ear in there that didn't come back. Frost killed it. But anywho, I'm going to get some more of them for the front yard. And then this had my time. I've dropped some more seeds in here, but it is full of weeds. So that's it. All right, guys, that is it for the garden tour. I love the ground cherries. They are so delicious. They're like pineapples. Straight pineapple. So, hope you enjoyed the tour. Again, if you want some seeds um, from my fennel or from my stevia, um, hit me up below. You have to send yourself a uh, dress envelope because I don't have no stamps. Um, and I'll send it back to you. But let me know first. Make sure I have enough for everybody um, that wants some. So anyway, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I look forward to seeing you all. Are y'all still on? <laughs> hope to see you all in my very next video. Bye-bye.